which is a big advantage because we are very short way from the, the combustion chamber to the turbocharger. Mm. And we can combine cylinders from the left bank and from the right bank in one turbo. So we have two cylinders going in one portion of one turbo. We have twin scroll turbos, two twin scroll turbos, so every scroll of one turbo gets one cylinder from one bank and one cylinder from another bank. And you can't do this with a regular V8 engine. You just can't do it. This is concept-wise a big advantage over all the other V8s. Only our V8 has this concept. And that's concept we already had in the X5M, X6M engine, but now the, the uh, exhaust manifold, we increased the diameters a lot compared to the X5M. And the whole way for the air to get into the turbo and then into the engine and out of the engine to the tailpipe, we have so big exhaust pipes underneath the M5. It's unbelievable. It just is like a from an oven, yeah? and that makes a difference. So the the, the fully load fuel consumption on the dyno is about 30% better than the and, and this is key uh, that also you can rev higher and you still get a good feeling of the combustion chamber by the turbo. So we rev now 7,200 RPM, and in every gear under every circumstance on the axis. We could do that. We have 6,800, and in some years we only have 6,500. Yeah. So, and we could uh, increase the compression ratio to 10.0 uh, compared to 9.3. So that's also very good for the efficiency of the engine. But the uh, the, 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 the the easy airflow to the turbo and to the engine that's key of, of efficiency and and the willingness to rev high for two engines and. Uh, this is uh, why I think this is a very unique turbo engine. The response at low end and the willingness to rev high is, I would say, you will probably not find on any other turbo engine right now. Maybe in a few years, like always, it will start to follow. But this is really what I think nobody has, at this point really has. So you call this engine technical update versus original S63? No, this is, um, for me, it's a new engine. Slash 2. Yeah, we, it has a Vavtronic system in it, which also gives you some uh, more freedom to, to play with the airflow, to have a better feeling of the, you can preload the turbochargers by clever work on the, on the <laughs> webs. So, all kinds of uh, things you can do with uh, this concept of the engine. And this is a new generation V8 engine. And we are the first at M launching this in the M5. In about a year from now, the Vavtronic technology also gets in the regular V8s. But not the cylinder comprehensive um, exhaust manifold and all this fancy stuff doesn't go in the, in the 550. So uh, higher boost pressure from X5M, X6M? It's a, it's a, I think we are now at 1.6 compared to 1.3 or so. And uh, it's really a sporty, high revving turbo engine. I mean, competitors claim they have a high revving engine naturally aspirated doing 7,200. I mean, we do this with a turbo. <laughs> At this point, that <laughs> <nobody else. laughs> it's going that way with the turbo. But we want a both sportiness and the low end. <laughs> and what is very unique too is this what comes out of the engine, the sound for the engine. So it's a typical, typical sound. With this engine system, you can't have it with a normal V8, you know, blah, 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 like the V8 sound you used before. Uh, this new system gives them a very characteristic and unique sound for that car. It's a more nervous <laughs> machine. More, it sounds more like a four-seater than anything. More like a race machine. Yeah, so that's our latest and greatest. <laughs> Ja, <lacht> <lacht> <lacht>